here for the next day of building the shed. My dog has managed to wrap himself around that dish again. He've already, I've already moved him twice, but that's Zar. Zar, you hop in? Good boy. Okay, so turning this carport into goat shed. So I talked to my friend, we shall call him Panda, and he's responsible for helping me learn how to do this. He suggested to use sheet metal for the side. This is just a PVC um, on the outside, but um, that is a cheaper option. We just already have all the wood. We got these lumbers free and then purchased that wood, so we're not gonna go that option. You could just screw them straight to the metal. So something that I learned about how to screw wood to metal. I had the wrong screws. Sheet metal screws will not work. Okay, no matter what they tell you on the internet, it doesn't work. So what I've been doing is I've been using these clamps right here um, to clamp on these boards. First I cut them um, across my lovely ladder here. Um, I don't have any saw horses right now. Um, just did that with a circular saw. It is 69 inches from the bar up there. I did it just a little bit shorter, so just below the bolts so that it'll fit. So just kind of to show you is I clamped these boards right up here. So it's, it's this is a nice heavier board, so I'm using this one for the outside and then clamped it with those clamps. This does stick out a little bit, but I'm not too worried um, because it helps to get, it'll get some airflow over the top, plus it's still plenty protected. And then screwed the hole with um, my drill bit. I'll show you, I'm using the, the bronze colored one. Okay, I'm um, getting size, or gauge 14 screws. I'm using a four and a half uh, millimeter drill bit from this, um, I could, the the thought being, I'm just getting the screws in the mail because I got the wrong ones. Got some um, self-tapping or self-drilling screws. They both look pretty similar. This has a little bit of a drill on the end of it. I am pre-drilling the holes because this is some thick metal here. It's probably galvanized. It's not steel or else that probably would have broken a bit. I'm not sure, but you can see how thick the one piece is, and then the sleeve is put over top of it, so it's like double that that thickness right there. So it's pretty, pretty solid, pretty solid metal here. Okay, so I'm clamping those, drilling the holes, and then tomorrow I'll clamp them back on, and um, that way I'll be able to just screw it in super easy. So what happens is it makes a, a little bit of a mark right here. And then um, I can take that and drill that through with that bit. After I use the this guy right here, the center punch. And you can see this is one that's in process right now. You can see that little kind of hole right there. So I was putting that and punching it. So I just put this on here and smack it with the hammer. And then it makes that indent in the metal. And then I'll go ahead and drill it. So I'll see if I can show you how I'm doing that and drill it one-handed so you can see what it looks like. Okay, it's gonna get kinda loud for a second. I'm trying to keep it as straight on as I was with the board. It's not gonna make that big a deal because it's thinner. Have your hole. Okay, we got my little spider friend here helping me apparently, and that's how you do it. So I'm going to keep doing those, and then I'm going to screw on these exterior boards, and then I'm going to paint them with some cheap oops paint, just a lighter color to keep the um, the flies down a bit. It's just some um, looks like some paint waterproofing protection type of thing so that'll work oh and that's my pig princess saying hi thank you